Going back to college um, has been a goal of mine since I've had children. My boyfriend and I have three children. I have two boys, they are seven and four. And then my youngest daughter, she's two. And we also have one dog, a German Shepherd. It's a good girl named Charlie. And I have four cats that are kind of crazy. while now I've wanted to be a nurse. I really enjoy helping others. I currently work at a long-term care facility for the elderly. I really enjoy getting to know them personally and being able to care for them in their time of need, knowing that they count on me is just really special to me. Getting to the nursing field it's really been a passion of mine. It's taken me some time. I'm a returning student. I took classes in 2018 and I just got back into the groove about two years ago. Going back to school after 30, I'm 33, has been a challenge. I still had a couple prereqs that I had to take, a couple biology classes and math, which I was dreading taking. That's kind of why I put it off to begin with. She was like, I want to go back to school for a career change. I said, go for it. So I never tell her no, so it's always yes, and what do you want? <laughs> what stopped me from getting my nursing degree? Um, kind of life just took over. I really couldn't afford to go back to school and work full time. And then as we started a family, it kind of just got a little bit harder, and I just put it off, and I just kind of lost that drive to go back to school. When she went back to school, it put a lot more responsibilities on me. Usually I was working 80 hours a week, but with COVID, I was home more, so kind of took over what was missing. But it was definitely worth it for the past two years. Um, yeah, it's hard at first, but you know, everything's hard at first, and then it just gets easier when you learn how to adapt to it. My family actually encouraged me to go back they were really supportive and they've been pushing me this whole time. You know, they're excited for my graduation coming up. It's great to have that support system. There was an old lady who swallowed a frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. She swallowed the gloves to hold the sunlight. She swallowed the sunlight to dry the rain. Seeing the Reconnect program, getting adults back to school for what they originally wanted to do, it just gave me that boost, you know, that nudge I needed to, you know, get back into it and finish what I started years ago. I'm super proud of her. The way she stepped up to go back to school takes a lot of courage. That in itself, after being out of school for 10 plus years, you know, I tell her every day how proud I am of her. So I hope she realizes it, which I think she does. I don't think you have to go to college to be successful, but it really does um, matter. Expanding on your knowledge and getting an education is really important. It really does open up a lot more doors and provide a lot more financial freedom to do more things with my children and set up some short-term as well as long-term goals for them. I do know we want to get married, so that's a big goal after she finishes school. And then, uh, I don't know what after that. If you're considering going back to school, I say do it. You know, it's not going to be easy, but you kind of just have to take it one day at a time. You know, have a good schedule, write everything down, and make sure you also, you know, take time out for yourself so you don't, you know, get lost in it. It's been challenging, but it's a good challenge and it's working. <laughs>